a town that's known for spectacular architecture, it can be hard to stand out. But when the Mirador Torre Glories opened in 2005, it quickly established the presence in the Barcelona skyline. You may know this building for the colorful show it puts on at night, but it's the AV on the inside that's going to change how you view this city. The, the aim of the Mirador is to invite visitors, not only to go to the top of the tower, it's also to invite them to uh, visit a space where they, through different artistic installations, they can see another side of the city, understanding that the city is a big, a huge ecosystem in which there are many different elements interrelated and all of them have an impact to each other. To take in the expansive views at the top of the Mirador Torre Glories, the journey actually begins underground. Here, a series of multi-sensory exhibits encourages visitors to consider the ecosystems that make up this seaside metropolis. Everything that you see and you hear happens on real time depending on the data that we gather via API. There is an installation that we can hear but we don't see that it's called a sirena, a siren. And uh, this is an uh, auto-generative uh, living soundtrack that uh, it's created depending on the variables that are taking place in real time outside the tower in the city. And it's a music that you will hear only once, never more because these variables will not uh, take place again uh, at the same time. The next installation is called Atmospheres, and in that case it's an invitation to look the elements that makes the city. Here in a very wide screen, 26 meters wide screen, here we're taking a look to the, to the dimensions of the city that are not tied to the urban grid. So we're talking here about soundscapes or wind or the sea or uh, deep sky objects. We have a representation of the wind and then you can see like a fabric, a silky uh, fabric that moves around and then depending on the wind, this fabric changes the movement, changes the rhythm, changes the colors. Everything changes depending on this data that we are getting on real time. These atmospheric shifts are felt in massive scale. Uncompressed, high-resolution video generated by a custom media engine is blended seamlessly by five Panasonic projectors. In over 40 Dante audio inputs are networked together to create a fully immersive sonic experience. After those big picture views, we move into the details of the city. Rhythms projects data-driven images through two translucent screens and an opaque backdrop creating a holographic effect. The narration is produced by artificial intelligence, providing real-time updates to Barcelona's living conditions. Once you have been invited to enjoy these experiences of contrast, once you are in the top of the tower in uh, floor number 30, uh, you have the views of Barcelona and then you have the maximum um, analogic experience. We have this amazing and fantastic sculpture called Cloud Cities uh, Barcelona by the artist uh, Tomás Saraceno. And it's a walkable sculpture in which you can get in and walk inside. This final interactive piece was just too much to resist. And even though I'm afraid of heights, I had to climb inside. From way up there, you can really see how the Mirador experience changes your view of Barcelona. This is the project of my life because it really makes a difference in many different terms. It's a contribution to the city because I'm from Barcelona and I feel and I love my city. And to have the chance to get for the city this building, it's amazing. It's a, something magic that through technology, through artistic devices and so on, to create this message that once you visit this, once you get out, you keep it with you. It makes an effect on you. You may know this building for the colorful view. Oh, now I've lost it. <laughs>
Now you're in your head. Yep. Now I'm in my head. No, I, okay, one last one. 